Hey, uh, what's up everyone? Welcome back. This is Joan. So we're here in uh, Remix Ethereum IDE. Today we're going to continue our uh, journey uh, to create uh, more uh, basic programs in Solidity. So today what we're going to do is uh, we're going to create an uh, array. So after we create an array, we're going to add, we're about to add some data into array then we're uh, we're uh, we're going to uh, get the position of the array and we're going to uh, to get the length of the array so that's only just the basic one the first one is we need to add then position the, oh yeah we're gonna get all the array we're gonna get, we're gonna display all the data inside the array and we're gonna get the length of the array. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is, okay, hold on, we need to bring our, okay, here we go. So, oh no, why am I? Ding, 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 hold on for a second. We need to refresh this one. Let's try to refresh, solidity, new. I don't know what's happened. Close. Then why? I, I, here we go. I can type now. So let's create a new file. Okay, here we can create this one here. Let's call uh, storage array. Let's talk about array today. Let's uh, do a pragma. Don't use the capital here. We're gonna get that some error. Solidity version zero point let's try this one first okay so the next thing we're going to uh, type con contract name of our contact is storage array all right then after the contract we're go we're about to create an uh, array okay so first thing is we need to declare the type of the bar unsign then this is the symbol close open bracket for array then the visibility uh the yeah public so we can access that one then id so right so we have a variable now here so let's start doing a uh, create a function to add to store data in the array the first thing that we're going to type is function create a function then add then we don't need to uh unt yeah unt id then yeah yeah public view then returns this is really important um, no 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 we're not going to uh we're not going to display so let's uh add some adi push then id and that's it then let's try this one if this one is working let's compile so we don't have an error then let's try to deploy now we can enter here okay so let's continue so now we have this is an example of we're adding array we're adding a uh, data into array the next thing is we need to get the position of an array. So, okay, let's type function, get position, then unt, um, okay, uh, assign integers, position id, then public, visibility is public, view we are going to view this one and returns unt okay so in assign integers return uh, ids then position id all right so let's try that one uh, okay we need to compile okay then we need to deploy this one here deploy let's add some one so in uh, in array we have a one next is two 
max is 3 all right so after that let's get the position of the array let's see in 0 the position that one this the uh, the value is 1 isn't it suppose it shows 1 in 1 it shows 2 isn't it in 3 it shows 2 oh no in 2 it shows 3 yeah all right so let's continue so now uh, after we uh after we create an add in the array where push we use the push to add some data into array then get the position we check the position what is the value in that uh, in that index so we get the index get position index so possibly get position index value okay get position yeah then the next thing that we're going to do is we need to uh the we need to display all the data inside the array but this one is a little bit different uh after three days learning this one so finally i get the right uh, way how to do it so okay let's get started function type the function display all then what we're gonna do we're not going to enter because we're going to display all the value inside the array public view returns after we return what we're going to return all the integers all the unsigned integers inside the array isn't it inside the array so now here's the deal here because uh i end up up too many uh too many errors here so let's let's try the error first for example so return ideas all right so let's see now we're expecting an error here okay let's expecting an error here we're returning what okay we display we call uh we're going to display all the value inside the array so public visibility view and we're going to return an integers and sign integers let's see let's try this one here let's uh compile so here we go we get an error here what the error uh, return argument type unt storage ref is not implicitly convertible to expect type isn't it so we have an error here because we're, we're about to uh we want to display the value of the array value of the array is a lot here isn't it from index 0 index 1 index 2 etc etc so what we're gonna do is we're going to what create we are going to use this open curly bracket because we're we're uh, we're displaying an array is it we're displaying an array so based on my understanding and i learned this one after searching how to do it then we need to put some uh an additional uh, memory here because this is a complex what i understand this is a complex uh, value or data so we need to put some memory all right so here we go there is no error then let's try to uh deploy uh, all right here we go so we're going to add data inside the array in index zero is one in index one is two in index three is in index two is three all right so we have three value inside the array so let's try to display all here we go we have one two three here zero start from zero one one and two let's get the position what is the value of index what index two supposed to be in index two the value is three let's try here we go it's three how about zero here we go it's one isn't it so meaning it's working so let's continue the next function that we're going to uh, create is uh, um we're going to uh, get the length of the array okay so get length then yeah we're not uh we're, get, we're going to grab all or we're going to check the length of the array public view return 
So now we're going just on land, isn't it? So we need to use just and sign integers, then return IDS land. You need to check the spelling. Sometimes they get wrong. And that's it. Let's try. Then let's compile. So we have an error here. So what's the error here? Okay, now here we go. Uh, if you want, you can pause the video. What do you think is the error here? See, the error is but got a return. So what is the error? Please uh, pause the video and guess what is the error here and how we're going to fix this one. UNT here, as you can see here. So the error here is we need to put some. We need to put S here in return, then compile. Everything is working. And let's deploy. After we deploy, let's try again. Let's enter some value inside the array. Index 0 is 1. Index 1 is 2. Index 3 is... Uh, index 2 is 3, all right? So display all. So we have 3 value. 1, 2, and 3. And let's get the length of the... Uh, Array, the length of the array we're expecting is 3. Yes, it's 3. Then get the position. Let's, uh, I think, let's type 2. And 2, we're expecting to have a uh, 3 value, let's call it. And here we go. So that's it. A simple and uh, very simple. Uh, uh, right now, you learn how to. Uh, create an array this one create an array then uh, uh, we add value inside the array this one we create a function the second one where we get the position or index number index then after that uh, it shows the value of that array for example index one uh, index uh, 0 is equal to 1 index uh, index 1 is equal to 2 etc so that's the idea of that one then the next thing the next one is uh, display we're displaying all the value inside the array so then uh, All right, so then there's this is the and this is the function if you want to get the length of the array. So after this one, so if you learn how to do this one, we're going to to create more complicated, more advanced uh, uh, program because after this, maybe tomorrow, I'm going to create an, uh, another storage. So yesterday is a string, only one value. Then now is an array. The second one is a struct. Tomorrow or later, I'm going to show you how to uh, store a value inside the inside the inside the. What well, I mean, struct. We're gonna use this struct that we're gonna put inside the array. So remember, today you learned this one how to use the unt uh, in order to display all the value inside the array. Remember this one or else you end up with the errors. All right, if you have any question, just uh, drop a comment. Try to uh, subscribe if you want. And please hit the like buttons if you like this tutorial. So more video to come. And this is my three days uh, uh, learning in solidity. Alright, once again, this is Joan and bye for now.